Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. Bring back my girls. Meow. Hey kitty girl. Meow. Hey kitty girl. Meow, meow, meow. I love these gloves, yes. I love them. I love that nail, the claw on it. I like that it's more of a like talon. It's the one I hook into your and just drag you along with street. Put one in my <laughs> pole and one in my carry me home like a six pack of beer. <laughs> what are we doing today, Raven? We are going to be tooting and booting the looks from season 13 of Oh, it's a classic now. It's been 13 years that song has been playing. It's been snatching trophies. It has caused a worldwide phenomenon. And here we are, lucky number 13. All right, so no queens have gone home yet. None. So we are going to be chewing and booting all 13 looks from the main stage. So what is the theme this week? Today's theme is trains, 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 trains. Some even say that the term drag came from the dragging of the trains of a queen's dress. And it really is just such a dramatic statement to have the fabric dragging with you behind you and how you control a train is it takes some expertise and it takes some um, experience. I am wearing a gown that has a train because I figured that's what it was, but then I realized, well, why did I even bother? Because you're not even gonna see it. I am wearing a full train. Mine is actually going out the window and across the street right now. <laughs> <laughs> they are saying trains for days, a train, a something draping behind you. I mean, it's, it doesn't take rocket science. So these bitches better have trains. I have very, very high expectations out of these queens. There better not be no stubby trains. They better be long, strong, and I'm down to get the friction on. All right, well, let's get to the tootin' and bootin' of these hoes and these trains on season 13. Let's go. Category is trains for days. Our first queen to the stage. Denali. Oh, it's feathers. Damn. This is an expensive train. It actually excites me. I love, 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 love ostrich plumes. She is a bird of paradise. She is plumed. There's sort of a parrot exotic bird motif that she's giving, and I really, really super, super love this. And she's even holding her hand to kind of mimic the head of a bird. I don't think she needed to do that, but it's not anything against her, but this is beautiful. All the colors, the uh, styling of it, it's beautiful. And the train is beautiful. It has all the length that I uh, that I need to keep me satisfied. <laughs> yes, I give Denali a two. I give it a two. Next we bring to the stage, Olivia Lux. Giving you Baroque. Yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. That's a beautiful take on it. I love that she's wearing two trains. She said, bitch, I'm gonna give you two. I'm gonna slit this jacket right up the middle and I'm gonna drape two trains across that main stage. I love those spats too. I've always loved spats. The entire thing is really, really beautiful. It's a great interpretation of, you know, train. And why not use a touch of, you know, a little bit of Louis the 14th, throw that up in there. Some French monarchy back in the day kind of feel feelings and realness. For a second, I didn't even realize she was holding a harp. The way it's kind of nestled in in her arm, it looks like it could be part of the actual garment, but um, she's got a little harp. I harp that so much. You harp it? I harp it. <laughs> she's done a gorgeous job. Every single piece of it, her makeup, the, the, uh, the lace appliques around her eyes, the hair is super cool. I give Olivia Lux a toot. It's a toot. Next we bring to the stage, Elliot with two Ts. This reminds me of Rue's promo look for season 10. I love when tool is used like this. You know, a lot of queens were doing the whole big billowy skirt that went high in the front, low in the back, and everyone is wearing it. Like I like this better because you can tell that it's not trying to be something it's not. It's literally a train of tool thrown onto a bodysuit. And that hair, ooh. I think she looks fabulous. This all goes well together. I love the lace 
um, sort of feeling that's all over her uh, cat suit that she's wearing. There's something that feels very expensive, almost like a wedding dress. I love it so much and I give her a two. Two. Next we bring to the stage, Kamora Hall. Oh, bitch. That's beautiful. I am gagged. I'm gagged. Are you gagging, I'm so sis? gagged. I am gagged on this look. Kamora, thank you for representing the Asians in this way. What are those dragons on your shoulders? It's absolutely stunning. It is rhinestone kakarakal. It's got this beautiful train that seems really kind of timid and simple, but when you look at the detail on it, she's got the spine of a dragon that goes all the way to the end of it. It is absolutely beautiful. It fits her lovely. It's got a lot of detail and it's got a lot of complicated, cool things about it, but it's not uh, obvious. And it's not overdone. Some of those queens that put everything on. I mean, you look at it and it's very, it's very striking and you, you cannot not stare, but you don't look at it and be like, dang, this bitch is wearing everything. The shoulders, the bodice part of that dress is stunning. And then it goes down to kind of a simple, understated skirt that is just a beautiful train and the hair and makeup, beautiful. I give her a two. Yeah, two. Next, we bring to the stage Simone. Bitch, her do rag is the train. <laughs> I love she is wearing it. a do rag train. She has such a cool, youthful, very modern take on her fashion style and her sense of what she likes to wear. The jumpsuit that she's got on with it, the whole thing. Oh, it harkens to like late 90s uh, hip hop feelings for me. It's really, really exciting. I love that kind of minty pistachio color. I love it, love it, love it. It's so inventive, it's so different. Who would think, you know what? I'm gonna wear a do-rag that is about 20 feet long and that's gonna be my train on the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. I know who thinks that, Simone thinks that. And this bitch gets a two. I give it a two. Next we bring to the stage, La La Rie. It looks like kind of street fighter mask. The focus is on the eyes. So what do you think? You know, uh, Rave, I'm, I, I've gotta tell you, I'm a little mixed on this. There are things about it that I like. Of course, I love the fabric. Anytime there's animal print, I'm down. And then I love the sleeves on this. I think they're beautiful, but it just seems like an oversized duster with a belt around it. And then she kind of said, oh, I'm gonna wear fabric around my face to make it seem more fierce than it really is. I think it's a very beautiful piece. It is something that I would probably wanna wear because I like it. But is it trains for days? No, it's not. And when you were just to see her walk out on stage, you would think, wow, she looks beautiful. But if you look at Kimora, she walks out stunning. And then she turns around, oh, look, it's a train. And with this, it just looks like something that it doesn't really scream train to me. The assignment was train. It wasn't really about a veil or a mask or across the face, you know, and I'm distracted. I'm distracted by that veil. For one of the first first hugest runways of the season. Why would you want to cover half of your face up? I get that you just want to accentuate your eyes, but the assignment was trained. She could have just taken it off. So I'm just saying a two because the outfit was done well. It's not a great train. And the mask, what for? I don't really care for it. I'm going to give it a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Utica. Oh, Miss Utica is giving us some Carol Burnett as Scarlett O'Hara. This is a theme that we have seen many times on RuPaul's Drag Race. Season two, that was our very first challenge. We had to create an outfit out of curtains. Now we didn't have to wear the curtain as is with the curtain rod, but this is that tongue in cheek, funny, oh look, I made an outfit out of curtains and it's literally just the curtain with a sash around it. It's beautifully done. It's so beautifully done. I love all the colors. I love I love that lavender. I love the, that nudie kind of pink with it. She showed up to class today. She brought the assignment and there's a beautiful long train. And I love that silky satiny fabric that has so much sheen and she looks beautiful. I'm gonna give her a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage Rose. Rose looks beautiful. I like the idea of her wearing a suit. Do I think any of this concept that she's wearing is original or is it an idea that I've never not 
seen before? Uh, no, I've, I've seen this before. And this is what you were talking about earlier in the segment about last year when it was the tool challenge. But I'm not mad at it. It's not bootable. It's not like uh, you look at it and you think, oh, look, she has a train. She's wearing a suit and has a train. The only thing I don't like is the ruffles that come off the sides of the sleeves when they go all the way down and it adds this like extra few inches to your to the, the your silhouette. I've never been a fan of that. I like that these aren't that big because, you know, sometimes they're just a little too big. It's a nice look. I'll give it a two. I give Rosé a two. Next we bring to the stage. Got Mick. Brought her own wind blower. So that while uh. she was walking, she could actually <laughs> blow it and her and it would it would flutter behind her. And it's rhinestone, a rhinestoned air blower. Oh my god, I live. This bitch did not come to play. This is what I'm talking about. Innovation. It's beautiful. I love the colors. Love the colors. It's very cotton candy. It's very ethereal. It's very a uh, day out in the garden. And she has a lot of jewelry on, but I love it. She looks like she's about to float away. She's got the rhinestone thingy blowing on her. The whole thing is phenomenal. And I give this a toot. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage, Tina Burner. It's supposed to be train tracks and she's dressed as a conductor. And I think the sleeves are supposed to be the smokestacks. I'm gonna let you go first, Raven. Raj is gonna let me go first while she computes. What the <laughs> f is looking at? She is that queen that's like, oh, I'm gonna put the, the camp in the drag. I'm gonna give you the waka waka waka. You can tell that just by her name, Tina Burner. She's punny. And so a queen to come out with a train that looks like train tracks is kind of funny. But the garment itself, the actual look of it is not. The way it's put together, it's like these things on her sleeves and then the wrinkly dress and then the tiny little hat. Like, why didn't you get a big hat? I love the color. I love, 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 love that blue. But it, it's, mm. I don't get train conductor out of this outfit. I see that there's uh, lines there, but my first uh, thing that I went to was, is she supposed to be the American flag? I don't see train tracks at all, in fact. I just see stripes. I wish that there would have been a little bit more of a trompe l'oeil kind of effect where maybe trees or houses. I mean, if you really wanted to be funny and punny about it, put some landscape on the edge of that train track. Those things on her sleeve do not translate as smoke to me. So this is gonna be the first one for me where I say it's going to be a boot. I give it a boot. Next we bring to the stage. Joey J. Okay, so the train is actually a tongue. It's a pierced tongue. On the back of her is the mouth and the tongue is hanging out of the mouth, which that in itself is cute. But then the actual outfit that she's wearing it with is like, no, no, no. She's wearing like a hoodie, like a sweat jacket with a ponytail sticking out of the top of it. A little slicker over it. That's a little too big. I love that she's got this huge mouth, these huge lips and the tongue hanging out the back of it. But it would have been kind of fierce if you just came out in like maybe a nude illusion. Something that was a little more sleek and let the train do the talking, but th it's a lot, bitch. This definitely could have used an edit for me. The tongue itself is so cool! Like, I love that idea. I love that it has a little piercing on it, which I think is really fun. I love that concept, and I love the execution of that train, but them boots is too scrunchy. Everything about it just looks like ill-fitting, pieced together at the last minute. Concepts are, are, are kind of like off. And the thing is, is that that train is amazing. The the lips and the tongue is amazing, but everything else was like, bitch, so mm -mm, boot. It's a bit of a mess, so I'm gonna give this look a boot. Let's bring on our next girl, and she is... Candy Muse. I'm a muse, Candy Muse. Are you really? Yeah. I think she looks pretty. I think Candy looks lovely. Now, is the outfit, like, exciting me for being, like, one of the first runways of the season. Um, it's okay. 
It's it's pretty. It's really, really pretty, but it doesn't kapow for me. I don't like that I can see her black panties hanging out from the, the bottom of that. I wish that either she had a red panty on. My favorite thing about this is her hair. I love the hair on her. I think that it's beautiful. It looks like she was in this earlier. She went to a party. It was not slit on the sides. She went back to someone's hotel, a very expensive hotel, maybe a penthouse and it was ripped. The dress was ripped from her after she asked them to do so, because she's into that. And her hair was, she had a couple of, of pins in it that she pulled out and it tousled down her back. And then she had to run out quickly and make it to the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. That I'm living for. But the dress itself is like, girl, that's that's the train. That's the look you gave for a train. No. Mm -mm. If the assignment is train, give me train. That thing needs at least another 60 inches to it. And that's what I keep saying about all these girls. But is the outfit uh, ugly? No. Is the concept gross? No. Does she look beautiful in it? Yes. I'm gonna give it a two. I give it a boot. Last but not least, Tamisha Iman. It's a pretty substantial train. It's beautiful, it's classic. I love the color, I love the styling, I love her hair, I love the huge fascinator. Tamisha Iman is fabulous. I love the classicness of this and it's just beautiful. The color, that, that hot fuchsia pink on her is so lovely on her skin tone. The train is lovely. It just gives me this beauty and classicness to it that I love about drag. It's absolutely beautiful. Now the tool around the bottom of it, it's just enough. It's not like it's too much where she's trying to like be like, oh, look at me, I'm wearing tool. But it's like, oh, it's just a hint. Beauty, beauty, beauty. She looks stunning and she is impeccable and I give her a toot. And I give her a toot. Trend alert. Tool. Flowy, ruffly tool. I love mm. your power tool. 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 Our, Our top, top two, two of the week, week is... Olivia Lux. Olivia Lux. Olivia Lux. Olivia Lux. Yes, yes, mm, Olivia mm, Lux. Mm, mm, Giving mm, me Olivia, 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 Olivia Lux. Lux. Be sure to catch RuPaul's Drag Race season 13 on VH1 every Friday night. And if you do not have VH1 where you're at, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. Toot, toot. Bye. Bye. Bring back my girls.